Trudy is a dirty girl. You won't believe how dirty she is. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. We just returned from that 2,000 mile trip out to North Carolina. Back over here where you can't hear the lawnmower. Got a neighbor that's mowing. Another neighbor doing his yard. Me? Getting ready to wash this dirty girl. Fortunately, it's not nearly as hard as it once was because of I figured out how to get this girl clean and keep her that way. She actually isn't, isn't quite so dirty now. You wouldn't know that we just drove 2,000 miles and a lot of that was in rain on wet roads. She's still shining. You can still see my reflection in the paint. But we do have some bug splatter and some dust. So uh, what the heck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I might as well show you what I'm doing to make this a little easier on me every time I have to do it. I was in a, a few videos back when I was talking about the Pro Aqua. I mentioned that I was using the Walburn Eyes. I really like that product, uh, but it was every time we went out, I would have to scrub the RV. Uh, now, if, unless I'm driving through a lot of bugs, I really just have to break out the pressure washer and rinse it off, rinse her off. And that's because of the, the products that I'm, I'm using. After some extensive research, being budget-minded, I have found. And oh, by the way, you can find all of these products on Amazon if you're interested. There'll be a link in the description below. And yes, sir, I am an Amazon affiliate. And I do earn a little bit of revenue for the channel whenever you click on one of those links. Doesn't change your purchase price. You still get that great Amazon Prime price, uh, but I earn a little bit of revenue. So first things, we gotta have the right equipment. And on Amazon, I'll see if I can find another one. They, they pop up and they go away. This is a 2500 PSI electric pressure washer. That's one of the highest pressure electric pressure washers that I have found. And that will flay skin. Trust me, I know from experience. Don't put your hand in front of that thing. It'll, it'll, it'll take your skin off. Uh, I use two different ladders. A little two foot so I can get up on the dash. And then my eight foot so I can get up high. Of course, you need a bucket, a wheel brush, and my chemicals, which I'm gonna get into just in just a moment. I use a long arm extendable pole and a couple of these scrubbing pads, microfiber scrubbing pads. And then I'll end up using probably four, maybe six microfiber towels. Uh, in the final step of this process. So that's, that's the equipment used. Plus you got water and electricity. Let's talk about, first, the first step is, is getting, getting it clean. Getting her clean, getting the surface clean. Now in the initial, wait, I forgot a product. So the, the first time you clean your RV, of course we've got, Trudy has four color automotive paint with a clear coat on it. So it's a little bit more of a challenge than your typical RV finish. This process will work on most RVs and give you a nice shine. The first step is, is to decontaminate. That's getting rid of all the iron particles that get embedded. And for that, I used the iron removing spray clay that way, I'm not having to use a, a clay bar. I can use that spray in just a rag and you spray it on there, wait a little bit, and then come back in with the microfiber towel and release those iron particles. If you don't, you'll seal them in and that'll start to discolor the clear coat. You can also just get a, an iron remover. 
but I like this one because it, it, it helped grab the particles a lot better. That's step one. So if you haven't heard, there's, there's some new products, a new process called ceramic coating for your automotive finish or your RV finish. I looked into doing a, a, a full-blown ceramic coating to have someone else do it for this RV was going to be several thousands of dollars. I, uh, I don't want to shell out that kind of money. And I looked at doing the process myself. And while I was looking at those products, I ran across some detailing products from Turtle Wax that actually contain a ceramic wax. It's called Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Wash and Wax. So this would be step two. After you get the, the, the clear coat, the paint finish clean, we come back with this. You just put some in a bucket of water and using your scrub brush, you, you clean a section, you rinse it off. You don't want to let this dry on the surface. And every time you wash with this product, you're putting a layer of this material on there and literally the water will just start sheeting off. It'll bead off. So that's step one. Step two and three are a little more labor intensive. If scrubbing the RV is not labor intensive enough for you, the next step really is. And that's to do a drying solution. So as I, after I finished washing, on a day like today, I'll have to re-wet the surface because you're gonna have, you're gonna have spots, even using the soft water. Unless you have deionized water and a deionizer is pricey. You're still gonna have spots as the, the water dries. So you have to go back, if you want a super shiny finish, you have to go back and dry it. So I wet it if it's already dry. And I use the drying solution, just a couple sprays. It puts another layer of the ceramic wax on the surface. And then the next morning, and that's because you need to work on a cool surface with this next product. I go one step further, and I think this is a, a key piece of the equation so that where I am now, I really just have to spray it off. And that is this product. This is a System X Ceramic protect Protection Renew Quick Detailer. Professional use only. Well, I'm a professional RVer, by golly. I bought it on Amazon. They let me buy it. I must be professional. So tomorrow morning, bright and early, well, before the sun really gets up and starts heating up the surface, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna once again wipe down the whole surface of the coach. And that final coat, literally makes the the surface super glossy smooth and very little actually sticks to it so that i can just hit it with the pressure washer so tomorrow morning i'll be back out here once again climbing up and down the ladder spraying it on wiping it off and i use a, a clean dedicated microfiber cloth for that and once it becomes saturated i, I get a new one i they're very inexpensive they're about a dollar or so a piece well, there'll be a link down there for a, a packet of 20 or so. I'm gonna get to washing. I'm gonna do a time lapse. You can watch me do some physical labor with some cool music in the background. So let's go watch Trudy Thunder.
Good morning. Birds are singing. Sky, sky is cloudy. There's actually rain in the forecast. But it is time to do the final, final wipe with the System X. Renew this stuff. And it's basic, it's a, I mean, it's, it can't be, can't be any more simple. Make sure you're wearing gloves according to the, the label. We're just gonna wipe it down. Now the, the cap becomes a bit of a challenge. So I just, I keep a clean uh, pad. I've not ever used that to wash with. That way I can just put it right on top. Put it on, I put it on everything. It helps keep the, the black latches black. I put it on the glass and it works as good as Rain-X and it's not quite as hard to buff out on the glass. So I put it on everything. So I guess we better get to it. is getting full but anyway before it gets full i'm gonna do the wheels and it may not survive it may not last this is the z creeper so hunkering down to do those wheels doesn't work so good for me this is fantastic what makes it cool though is it is also a creeper You need to slide under your truck, your car. Of course, if you're gonna do a car, you gotta, you gotta put it up on jacks, but that's how I do the wheels. products are going to be found uh, that I use are in the description down below I've purchased them all on Amazon I'm not affiliated with any of these companies I've just found that these products really work great for me and as you can see looking at the, of course it's overcast so it really doesn't pop quite as much as when the sun is sun is shining so if you want to see your pot you know really popping Go click on the subscribe button and go back and look at the a couple of the recent videos posted where we're traveling and you can see how and you can see how much she shines when the sun is shining so with that being said if this is your first visit to dude rv i'd appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button 
And for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you. I truly appreciate your support. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?